Hello everybody, it's me, Pango. Hey guys, Pango here. Welcome to another episode of Pango Plays Minecraft. Um, if you remember from the last episode, we encountered some spiders, which was a bad experience. We could have died, but we got plenty of string and a lot of stuff, so it was plenty worth it. And we also um, continued our mine down here. As you can see, it's really long, and we haven't even gotten to the bottom of the world yet. It's bright outside. And I place out a bunch of torches so that monsters at least don't spawn close to my house. It'll take them a little longer to get there, though I am running out of torches. I only have like 20. Actually, that's a pretty good amount. Um, and we're going to be using those torches as we mine further in, into our little mine. So let's jump straight into it. It might take me a while to reach the bottom, so I'll see you when I get there. Man, I hear spooky sounds. Endermen. Zombies. They must be in a cave nearby. Otherwise, they wouldn't be, make, be complaining about my recent mining expeditions. But we reached some gravel. Very useful if you wish to um, create some arrows if they ever drop flint. That's pretty much the only thing that they're useful for. Of course, I'm going to have to find something. Is, is that iron? Bless me, that's iron. Yes, we struck iron, guys. It's, it's above us, but it is iron. Hold on, I need a flat wall. I'll have to put my torch on. Is there more iron? There's a lot more where that iron came from. Hold on. And let's mine up here. And how much iron ore did we get? It's not much. It's like five. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's some more. Sneaky iron. Don't hide from me. I'll make you into some nice things, and you will enjoy it. Alright, while we're here, let's go ahead and mine up this gravel. Because it's easy to mine. You can just pretty much punch it. It's not that big of a deal. You don't need a pickaxe. Probably would be faster with a shovel, though. So I'm not jumping all the way back up just to get a shovel. That would be a huge waste of time. So, and I'll probably try to farm this gravel until we get all the flint. Otherwise, I don't see much use for it. Maybe we can use it if we want to make a safe passageway down a ravine. No, we can... We just got iron. We can create a bucket, which holds all kinds of useful stuff. We can create a cobblestone generator. Cool stuff like that. We don't really need a cobblestone generator. Though I was thinking of doing a skyblock map. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more than one series at the same time. Because if it's just survival, you're going to see me mainly do this mining. And I promise that we would get to something interesting. It may not be fast, as but it would be. Um, eventual. And just like that, we found more iron just by mining out this gravel. See, it's not a complete waste of time just to mine out gravel. We got more gravel than we ever need, ever would need in our lives right now. Well, I don't know. Survival can be pretty long. Man, that is a lot of gravel. Did this gravel ever stop? Wait. Yes, it did. Phew, thank goodness. And we can just replace these two blocks with stairs. And it's, guess what? It's pretty worth it to mine out all that gravel. We got some coal ore. And some iron. Is there any more in here? No, there's not. But it's a nice place. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, hiding in the darkness, aren't 
There you go. <laughs> coal. There's so much coal here. Huh. I never expect to find this much coal in my mine. In fact, it's lucky that we found any ore at all. Oh, but enough of that. We have made ourselves a small little cave. Maybe we can have it for temporary storage. Wait, let me get it so that it floods the room with light. And we found some more coal. 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 Coal, coal. Coal, coal. So much coal. So much coal that my pickaxe is probably going to break as soon as I mine all the coal. So much coal, that'll make a huge cave. So much coal, I could burn a house down. No, I could burn a mansion down with this coal. It's coal to find coal. I'm trying to make it interesting as I mine all this coal up. Coal, 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 coal. Wait, that's not coal. This is coal. I should probably stop making, trying to make metaphors with coal and just mine all of it. There we are. That's all the coal. It made a big cave. So, how much coal did we get? We got 45 pieces of coal and eight iron ingots. So that's two more from the um, supply that we just mined up. Which is good, it's good. Alright. Let's continue mining down. Um, and we might find some more precious metals. Eventually, I want to widen this so I might be able to find whatever is making those weird endermen. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Guys. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful my voice is cracking. We found diamonds. Yay. Yes. Woohoo. Wait. My happy dance. Wait. What did that just break? Uh, no, I placed something. But this makes me really happy, but I can't mine the... I can only mine iron with this stone. If I try to mine the diamonds with this stone, let's just say it's not going to be worth it. And there's even more hidden under here. Guys, this is the best mine ever. And Lapras Laprazul? This is a treasure trove. Hold on, I got it mine up all on this iron. I'll make an iron pickaxe. I'll come back with the iron pickaxe and mine everything else. There's so much. We are so deep underground. And it's dangerous, but it's worth it. And there's even more diamond blocks around here. Hold on, let me expose all the diamond blocks so we know how many, how many guys that we found and I just broke a torch on the wall We're about done exposing it oh, and I do not have and this is and remember guys this is the default world I haven't edited this world in any way okay and exposing the Lapras of Rapazool for who knows I mean why not why not expose all the ores that we just mined to see how many we have and we have a bunch of this red stuff which is a uh, purpose unknown. So just to give you guys a little image on what just uh, on what amazing in in stuff happened. How many blocks of diamond do we have here? That's exposed. One, two, three, four, and then five. Five diamonds. Score. We'll mine down a bit more to see. Oh. Well, I guess that uh, ends up. And so our mine, we mined so deep, and look at what we found. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Well, but I forget what you used Lapras Lapra for. Don't know. 
That's amazing. We got 21 pieces of iron. Almost enough. Almost. Uh, which would it have made an awesome iron set. But first we need to craft an iron pickaxe so we can mine up the diamonds. And then we can immediately have some diamond tools. Yes. We're already doing so well. I didn't expect... After all that unluckiness, the laggy trees, spiders encounters, near death. Okay, it might have not been near, de near death, ne near death, but it's pretty dangerous. All that fighting. Let's eat some chicken. Celebration time. Woo! So the first thing we need to do is smelt all of that iron. That should be about enough. Why does it take a while for the item to rise up? It takes a while to raise the axe. The pickaxe takes a while too. Stone sword as well. We have a total of... Uh, come on, I need that third one. Skeletons outside are making me uncomfortable. There we are. Three iron. We'll let the rest smelt inside that furnace. But now, now we can craft an iron pick. Does not Isn't that supposed to get an achievement or something? Oh. 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 Okay, that's why. So now we got the iron pickaxe, we're going to put the sticks back in there and rush all the way down to get the diamonds. I'll, I'll see you in a second, this might take a while. Alright guys, we're down here. I turned the music down a little bit and because uh, it sort of got annoying, but look at all these diamonds. We got five diamonds. Let it rain. Diamonds. Upon my beautiful head. I can throw the diamonds that I just got in the air. That's victory. Woo, diamond. <laughs> and, and in the third episode, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of lapras, too. These deposits certainly give you a lot. And then, we, of course, we got the normal coal, which uh, I guess is nice. We can mine it, see if we can get any more. My coal jokes are terrible, so um, I'll cut to when I get all this coal mined. Alright, that's all the coal that's in it, as you saw, or as you can see, my pickaxe, which was in this hand, broke. That's a little bit disappointing, and I had to use some of the durability on my iron, but that shouldn't be any problem, because with the diamonds that we created, we have enough to create two things. You can craft a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Alright, isn't that just awesome? Though I might want to save some of the diamonds. Not sure. I mean, I don't want to overpower enemies in the beginning. I mean, they do have durability. Diamond stuff is strong, but they still do have durability. Anyway, so let's go ahead and craft the diamond pickaxe now. Boop, boop, boop. And that's a beautiful diamond pick. Look at that, beautifully untouched, ready to mine out the secrets of the world. I'll put that into safety. Along with my other stuff. This chest is getting quite full. Oh, I should really empty it out. Oh, but there was something that I wanted to see. Um, I'm not going to bring any special equipment yet. I'm going to get some sticks. And a trusty pickaxe. Well, no, that pickaxe is not trusty. My diamond, 
pickaxe is my, now my new trusty pickaxe. And because these ones aren't tr these co oh, these fragile cobblestone pickaxes aren't exactly uh, what would you call them reliable. I uh, I need to craft two of them because one might break. Now there's a cave that I found around here. It might be a bit hard to find. Because it is daytime. Oh, here it is. We didn't even have to look that far. Yay. So, last time I was in here, it got pretty dangerous. And it still is dangerous. Yes. Ouch. <laughs> Taking out that skeleton hurt. I got arrows. I, I got one in the back of my neck and two at my feet. Oh, ow, ow. Ow, my foot. Ouch. I found a bunch more iron. Iron, and it says a dead end. No, it's not a dead end. And we still got cave to explore. Hey, there's another entrance. Do I recognize this entrance? Yeah, I sort of do. Hold on, I need to make a path here. For nighttime, of course. And we have one torch left. Awesome. We need to make some more. Alright, so... How do you make... Oh. Because we have a bunch of coal, we're going to make a bunch of sticks and a bunch of torches. Yep, that's a bunch of torches. I didn't expect it to make that much, but oh well, I guess it's math. Final thing we're going to do, we'll explore a bit more into the cave, light it up a bit, and then I'll probably end out the video once we're back, of course. I'll get to the cave eventually. Right, here we are back in the cave. I just heard a zombie, and that is never a good sign, because that means they're chances are is a zombie it sounds horrible must be down here but nope 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 that's that's a trap that's 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 clearly a trap I should not fall down there and where am I I, I am lost I, I should probably get back into the cave yep that's a smart idea I'll probably be even more lost now is that no <laughs> ever since I found that diamond I, I keep thinking I, <gasps> uh oh guys there's a creeper That is not a good sign. Please don't explode. <laughs> oh. <sighs> that could have been worse. Alright, so we could have lost all our stuff. We could have been exploded. But we don't have any valuables. The best... At hand that we have would probably be the, uh, what do you call it? Arrows. Yeah, arrows. And I still hear those zombies. I feel like they're behind me. But that can't be right. There's so much iron here, though. Survive up for day. I'm so paranoid now. I don't want to lose, lose this iron now. Though, it's really, really... So, now I'm really hungry. Um, I have four pieces of iron. I can't auto-regenerate. And it's near the, e the end of my recording session. So, I should probably exit this cave and get back to my house before nighttime strikes. And I start having problems again. Because, you know, you don't want anything the bad had ha to happen once you've just found diamonds. Um... Alrighty, everything's safe and sound. I'm tucked into my nice large chest, which is quickly filling up. So, we found... So, I'll bring back the diamonds here. Alright, so guys, we found diamonds! Yes, they're so valuable. Oh, but they don't fill you up. As, I, as you can see down there, my hunger bar... Uh, indicates that I'm quite hungry. 
So a toast to finding diamonds. Eat up. And apparently, yep, again. There we are. Alright, so, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pango Plays Minecraft Survival. If you haven't seen the previous two episodes, uh, my luck wasn't holding in. And that's, and there's a reason for that, because in this episode, I found uh, something that can change my luck, diamonds. Now, these two I'm going to be saving for future use. And if necessary, I'll craft the diamond sword with them if I find more, which is highly unlikely. So, oh, if you like this video, then be sure to go down in the comments below the video. It should be somewhere down here, near the hot bar our spot where I'm holding my sword at. And if you want to see more videos like this of 1.9 Survival, then be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, oh, and you have any suggestions, leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye!